Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today on this channel we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We're going to be unboxing things. Now you might be thinking to yourself, that's not different at all because we always unbox things on this channel. But today we're going to be unboxing multiple things. Here, to the this side of me, we have a list of things that we will be unboxing today, starting with my mail, secondly some kind of like PR related things, then just some subscriptions, some old subscriptions that I haven't gone through yet, and then finally, but definitely, definitely not least, a gift that has come from one of you guys. Now we are not going to be doing this in this order specifically because I am not nearly that organized. I also attempted to draw like a box like being opened, but I realized quickly I could not draw a box. So so instead I did a poorly drawn letter. All right, let's just go ahead and get started. And because I have no rhyme or reason to what I am doing, I'm just gonna reach beside me and grab something and then we're just gonna open it. All right, first thing I grabbed was a Kiss Me subscription. I literally have no idea what month this is from. I know it's not the current month, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Whatever mystery month this is came in a black satiny bag. Let's see what the colors look like. These are actually really pretty colors. We have Couture, Royal, and Luxe. And again, I have no idea what month these are from, but I do really like these colors. This is the Kiss Me subscription. It is $19.99 a month. And if you guys wanna know any more information about it, I'll leave it down below. I'm definitely not sponsored by them. All right, next up is something from Optoly. So technically this does count as PR, but uh, small time YouTuber PR is not like big time YouTuber PR. We don't just have things show up to our house, or at least I don't. It works differently. Like I have to put my name on like a list type thing. And if I get accepted by the brand and they might send it to me for review, that kind of stuff. So it's a lot different than, you know, just all sorts of cool stuff showing up to your house. I mean, that would be awesome, but that's not the case here. All right, so this came from Optoly in Clarence, Paris, and this is the Instant Light Comfort Oil. It's supposed to enhance and nourish. And I have mine in the shade, and I guess maybe flavor as well, candy. And this is what it looks like. It is super hot pink. It comes in like a bright gold cap. Oh, you guys, the doe foot on this thing is gigantic. It looks like a tongue or something, like a cat's tongue. It's so huge. I ripped it out like way too aggressively and uh, lip oil kind of went everywhere. So avoid doing that. But I do actually really like the giant doe foot. I bet it'll be real soft. Ooh, it is soft. Mm, and honestly, this really does smell a lot like candy. It's almost like a rosy candy though, like a sweet tart mixed with like rose water or something. It definitely gives off a pinkish cast. It's not like opaque or anything obviously it's just a lip oil but if you did want a little bit of tint on your lips I think it would be good for that all right next up I guess we're gonna do a speed lip and lipply unbagging what month is this even from who knows good vibes does anyone know what month this bag is from let's go ahead and open it up maybe it'll tell us on the little card why am I a disaster today? What is happening? Um, but this bag is from August, which actually makes me feel better because we're not that far behind. It's only September 4th, maybe, right now. So let me find all the products I dropped really fast, and I'll be right back. And for all of you wondering, I still do get Lip Monthly bags, um, and I will be doing an unboxing of Lip Monthly this month, hopefully. But for now, we'll just kind of go through these, what we got last month. So it looks like we actually have four full lip products. All right, so first up from Bella Paris Cosmetics, we have a lipstick in the shade Fierce. And this is what the lipstick looks like. It is super metallic and a little bit on the orangier side. I can tell this is a lipstick that I will not get great use out of. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for somebody else because I hate like swatching something or putting it on my mouth and just completely like you know, voiding anybody else actually using it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to the side. All right, next up we have another lipstick, it looks like, from Dirty Little Secret. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. All right, and here is Pillow Talk. And this is like almost my skin color. Like this honestly looks more of like a peachy under eye concealer to me than it does a lipstick. All right, so this too, I think for the sake of not wasting things, I'm gonna set this to the side because I just, I know I'm not gonna be using it unless like I used it for a concealer or something. It's just far too light for me and talk about a concealer lip. Like you wouldn't even be able to see my mouth. 
All right, next up we have an Estate Lip Crayon, and this is in the shade Rosé. And this actually looks really pretty, so I will swatch this somewhere that is clean. All right, so here is Rosé swatched on my wrist. I think it's actually a really pretty color. I feel like it might even go well with what I'm wearing today. It was a little bit stiff, but it is still a very pretty color. All right, next up is a Laritzy Cosmetics Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Blush. Ooh, this is also in a very pretty color. It looks nice and nude. It honestly looks like it would go well with the... Nope, not really. <sighs> So here is the lip gloss, and there is the lip gloss on top of the liner. I initially thought that the liner and lip gloss might go well together, but uh, now I'm not so sure. But this is a very pretty lip gloss, and it smells fantastic. All right, next up, we have something else from Octalise. Go ahead and uh, get in here and see what we got. Ooh, okay, this is I'm actually really excited for. We have lipsticks from Lancome, and these look beautiful. I saw them online. Very, very excited for these. Somebody's currently mowing at 8 p.m. PM, so I'm very sorry about that. All right, so for these, we have three different finishes of lipsticks. We have sheer, cream, and matte, and then we also have three different shades. So we have Hypnotic, Secret, and Berry New York. These are actually super cute little tubes. They almost look like 20s-ish to me, like from the 1920s, and I think you're supposed to press like a little bullet like that. It comes out the bottom like a secret. Whoa, okay. Uh, the first one I have here is Hypnotic, and this almost looks straight up black, but this is the sheer version, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, so here's the first one in Hypnotic, and I think it's pretty. It is very, very sheer. It's giving me more of that like just ate up grape popsicle kind of vibe rather than just like an actual lipstick. I don't really know how long this would last during the day. I feel like it would come off very, very quickly, so you definitely have to reapply. Let's go ahead and test out the other two. Next up, we have Berry New York, which is a matte finish, so this one should definitely be more pigmented. All right, so this is Berry New York, and I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's a beautiful, like, rich berry red, and I think it's super, super pretty. It went on so creamy, so smooth, so pigmented. So this one, I definitely prefer the formula of over the sheer formula. All right, last up here, we have Secret, and this is a cream formula. Let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. Whoa. Okay, this one is very, very dark and intense. All right, so here is this one on the lips. It is a very dark, intense color. However, I am noticing that it is kind of patchy, especially if you, like, mush your lips together at all, you do get a line. And I know that can be like a common issue with like those darker, deep, vampy colors, but it is still a very pretty color. However, out of all three that we've tried from this Lancome line, I would definitely prefer the mattes. I really like that formula. I mean, I tried it for like 0.5 seconds, but from the 0.5 seconds that I did try it, uh, I really enjoyed like the creaminess and the pigmentation. So if I were going to be picking out one of these to wear, I would for sure go for the mattes, but uh, you know, that's a complete personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, which one was your favorite. I would love to know. All right, you guys, so I am covered in swatches and disgusting mouth wipes because uh, you know, I never have makeup wipes. But the thing is, I have something in this mail pile over here that I think might help. So a little while back, one of you guys commented and said that you had sent me something in the mail, which freaked me out because I was like, there's no way people would ever send me anything in the mail. And you guys, you never, ever, ever have to send me anything. Do not feel like that at all. If you guys ever did like want to write letters or anything like that, that's totally cool. And then I can like respond to you and we can like communicate via snail mail. But one of you guys has just gone above and beyond. So Tracy, this package is from you and I think I know what it is because you said, I definitely need it and I never have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package right here. And I really hope it is what I think it is because um, I'm in need right now. Oh gosh, I already have lipstick all over the packaging. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, Tracy. Thank you so very much, you guys. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. She has sent me three packs of makeup remover wipes so I can finally stop wiping my face and arms on anything that I can find around me. I also have a little note here. Hopefully it's okay if I read it out loud. It says, hey, love your videos. Hope you can use these. As you said, you needed them. Keep up the great work, Tracy. Oh, just thank you so very much. This is just such like a kind and thoughtful thing. Thank Thank you very much, Tracy. I'm gonna put these to test 
right now and uh, wipe off some of these swatches before I get red lipstick over everything. All right, so let's just go ahead and open up just a couple of more things because my battery's already dying twice and I feel like this is going to be a really long video. So let's go ahead and open up this box here from Sephora. Now this is something I am excited about. Uh, most people already probably have this in their makeup collection, but I do not. And it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I feel like everyone already has this palette. It's been out forever, but I've never even tried tried it before so I'm really excited to try this and get into it eventually. I feel like this is something I could probably use all the time. I mean you guys know what it looks like on the inside just very neutral basic eye colors but uh, I feel like it's going to be a great palette for my little collection. All right next up we have something from Ever and I think it's Ever Skin. This also came from Octoly. This actually came very nicely wrapped up with a lot of tissue paper and this is the Ever Overnight Facial Cellular Renewal Oil. This this looks super duper fancy. It is a very, very cute little bottle. We have some like shiny silver and the serum is here at the bottom. We have a little pipette that you can suck up the product with. Oh, that's an interesting sound. Go ahead and try some on my hand. Oh, it smells like a really expensive department store. Like, I don't know, I can't think of a really expensive department store, but that's that's what it smells like to me. That little drop did go a very long way. It covered my entire hand and down my arm some. Um, it feels really nice. It does feel very oily, though it is a facial oil. I am definitely going to be giving this a try probably tonight. I think I might do some, like, microdermabrasion and then put on some fancy face oil. And this apparently is supposed to reduce 10 visible signs of aging with patent pending LSR 10. I don't know what that means. This little card here also says that every skin products deliver results you can actually see and often in less than 30 days. So that might be an interesting little test to maybe see like what my face looks like on day one versus day 30. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely be giving this a try and maybe I'll look 15 years younger by, you know, next month. Next up, we have something from Amazon, and this isn't makeup related at all, but it came in the mail, and I thought I would show you guys anyway. So if this is what I think it is, then it is a new purse. Yep, I was right. So I ordered this purse off Amazon um, because I was thinking about buying, like, a fancy, expensive, crossbody leather purse. Then I remembered who I was like as a human and uh, I realized, oh yeah, I'm cheap. So I'm not gonna buy a hundred dollar purse. So I got this uh, $19 one instead. And yeah, it might not hold up as long as a hundred dollar purse, but I just couldn't like, I put it in my cart and I just could not justify clicking the purchase button just because like that's just so much money for a purse. But instead, I got this little purse here. Nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. I like my standard brown, satchel-y looking crossbody bags. <laughs> All right, uh, here's another thing from Octoly. This is the last thing from Octoly. I promise, let's go ahead and get into this. I just like ripping off the top. All right, this is also from Lancome, and this is the Tint Idol Ultra Makeup Stick. It has sunscreen in it, broad spectrum SPF 21. It's supposed to be all day color wear and comfort. This only has 0.31 ounces in it. Um, that's not a lot. I thought this was a foundation foundation, but that's really, really not a lot for foundation stick. However, it is supposed to be for all skin types. It is supposed to wear all day and supposed to have a soft matte finish. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Ooh, this might actually be a little bit too deep for me. Here it is swatched onto my skin. This part of my arm, though, is like abnormally white, so maybe that is why. It oh my goodness. I wonder if this has silicone in it because it has a very, very like soft silicone-y feel. However, it does feel matte and it blends out pretty well. It isn't like a full, full coverage, that's for sure, but it does give me some type of coverage. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this out sometime soon and then let you guys know what I think about it once it's actually on my face. All right, you guys, I still have a good portion of boxes left next to me. I have some like old BoxyCharm subscriptions. Like I don't even know what month these are from. I have two new subscriptions that I haven't even tried out for you guys yet. I have, oh no, three new subscriptions. There's another one down there. This has been a lot of unboxings today and the amount of like stuff 
around me is accumulating very fast. So I think that's where we're gonna cut it off for here today. I know this is kind of a strange video, but I did want to just go ahead and share with you guys all the stuff that's been like piling up in my room. So a big thank you for watching this rambling mess. It really does mean a lot to me. If you could also go ahead and subscribe, that would also mean a very lot, a very lot to me. So very, very much lot. I just wanna say another huge thank you to Tracy for the makeup wipes. Those are gonna be put to so much use, like you don't even know. They're gonna set right here at my filming area and I might sneak one over to my makeup area as well. But um, I'm definitely, definitely gonna be using those and just thank you so very much. You have saved like any piece of furniture that is around me and my sleeves and other things as well from getting like makeup all over them. So yeah, just have a fantastic night and I'll see you all next time. Bye!